or screw, select new, metric, standard MM, and create. Do the sketch on the XY plane. Select line, and we'll be drawing a basic outline shape of the side view of a screw. The down will be revolving this face so that it will create the actual 3D object. The purpose of this face is to have a, a side view of the screw. For representation purposes, it will be basic, basically this shape first. Create the center line for reference and follow the dimensions as such. The thickness of the body of the screw will be 3.5 mm in diameter. The head diameter will be 7.25 and the inner head will be 4.5. Okay, click exit, tap and drag out that one point out. So that later on the other dimensions will be easier. Now we'll be doing the angle of the inner head. This would be 60 degrees. And the angle towards the outside it will be 25. Moving on, the height of the inner head will be 2.5, whereas outer head including the thickness will be 2.5 same as the inner head the angle of the outer head will be 45 the overall height of the screw will be 19 as such and the tip of the screw will be a height of 3.25 over to coincident constraint left click to the center line towards the green top once it aligns go over to the edge of the screw not the green dot but the edge and select the intersection point again finish your sketch plane over and now we can revolve it as you can see uh, the software detected the face and it created a 3D object as such so I do this sketch on the top of the screw, project the geometry of both the YZ plane and XY plane. You get two yellow lines here and select line. We'll be drawing the top of the screw for the screwdriver where the screwdriver sits. Now draw the reference lines from the center line, draw out 0 0.375 Once you click enter, go over to the other side and punch in the numbers 0 0.75 Exit and right click on the shorter side and delete it Repeat the same process for the vertical side now Once you're done, you can connect the lines to form the arc. So select the green dot, make sure it aligns, it snaps and locks into place and click. Go over to the other side and make sure it snaps onto the green dot. Then we select arc, select the outer points first, the corner to corner, and find the center line. Uh, it may take a bit of minor adjustments to lock the point into place. As you can see, it's a very uh, fine point. If you're unsure if it's the point, you can pan over to the center. Make sure that it connects to the intersection point and left click. Exit, and now we can fillet the edge of the arc, the quadrant. So fillet 0 0.5.
select the address and enter mirror this quadrant these four lines before selecting the mirror line and apply repeat the same process for the bottom half this time you will select the eight lines that you have generated select the mirror line for the bottom half and apply click the done and the initial two short lines that you have created hold down shift and select both of them and go over to construction finish your sketch and extrude Zoom in and select the four quadrants. Select the icon to next. Click OK. This will form the top of the screw. Now we can fill out the endpoints of the cross. Give it a radius of 0.5 and select the four ends. Click OK. and you can view to see the first step of the screw next we're creating the thread so going over to the cross sectional view hand over right click and select slice graphics this will give us the cross section of the screw that we're creating now select project geometry of the y-axis and the edge of this head of the screw escape and now select the construction line uh, center line works as well for the middle part and we'll be creating the face of the thread so same as previously, this doesn't have to be an exact shape at first, we'll be creating a rough trapezium. Make sure the two vertical lines are parallel to each other and connect the center line together. Have a vertical constraint on the center line and the dimension between the face of the thread and the center line will be 2.5. Over to coincident constraint, select the outer line towards the end of the project geometry that you've created. The dimension for the angle of the thread face this time it will be 60 degrees. This time the height of the thread face would be 1.25 over to the coincident constraint again this time the point of the thread face to the edge of the project geometry go over to construction line select the center line of the third face this will give you a reference for later on finish your sketch and now you can go over to coil left click on it make sure that your axis is the one that goes straight through the screw the matter is pitch and height of pitch 1.25 millimeters and height of 15 mm Rotation would be clockwise, so make sure it's on the right. And boolean will be cut. If everything's good, you will have this uh, generic uh, shape right now. The screw is not done yet because at the top, you can see it's uh, blocked by this object. So we'll be starting a 3D sketch on that surface. Project is geometry. And finish the sketch. Go over to revolve and select the axis that cuts straight through the screw 
make sure the boolean is cut and ok can tumble the view to check if everything is in order now I can select the material of the screw for this model I will be selecting steel galvanized with a finishing of chrome polish This will be saved under as a flat head screw. If you are creating a pen head screw, uh, you can continue from this step forward. We will be filleting the top of the screw. So we'll select on filler, give its radius of 3.5 and select just the edge of the top screw this will round off its edges and select OK just one additional step for here, say file as pen head screw and we're done